this demo, I'm going to show you how you can onboard Linux machines in your environment onto Azure Arc. To connect machines to Azure Arc, you can perform a set of steps manually, or you can use an automated method by running a template script that you can even get from the Azure portal. This script will download and install the agent on your Linux machine. To complete these steps, you will need root level access on the Linux operating system. For this demo, I will use the Azure portal, where as you can see, I am already on the landing page for Azure Arc. Let's select Add Existing Infrastructure. In here, I can select Add Servers, Resource Details, and now I'm prompt to provide all of the information of my Azure account, resource group, operating system, and region where I want to register this Linux machine. Let's select the resource group where I want to onboard this VM, select Linux operating system. If your environment requires a proxy for outbound connectivity, you can also provide the proxy server URL. We can now add additional tags and they will be populated in your Azure portal and you will have a tag Azure resource. We can now here add hosting platform, for example, and let's say GCP, download and run the script. Let's copy it and close. Now I am logged in into the Linux machine that I want to onboard onto Azure Arc using the root account. All we need to do now is copy paste the template that we downloaded from the portal. For demo purposes, I'm going to be copying a step by step. First, we need to download the installation script and this will be done by this command. Now that we have it, we need to install the hybrid agent by running the command. Now it's installing all of the packages that are required by the agent. Once the installation of the requirements is done, we need to run the connect command. For that, we will have the tool ACCM agent connect. What this is doing is linking this virtual machine and connecting and projecting this as a resource group as part of Azure Resource Manager. We're registering this VM onto the specific resource group that, that we selected from the portal, the tenant ID, Azure region subscription and also assigning the tags that we selected. All that is left for us to do is copy this URL, copy the code provided, and after that we will authenticate and the resource will be projected into ARM. If we wanted to skip this manual step, we could also provide a service principle and we will not require any human intervention. Now we access the URL, enter the code, provide your email that you use to manage your Azure subscription. Sign in. And you have successfully onboarded this VM onto Azure Arc. Now we will go back to the Azure portal and see if we have successfully registered into Azure Resource Manager. As you can see, now we have an Azure Arc enabled server that is connected to the specific resource group, location, subscription, and with the tags that we provided during the onboarding process. When a hybrid machine is connected to Azure, it becomes a part of Azure Resource Manager. It has the benefits that you can now use constructs such as Azure policy or applying tags. Now that we have successfully onboarded this machine and that we have installed the Azure Connected Machine Agent, you can manage your on-premises and other cloud infrastructure just like you would do today using Azure Native Resources. Thank you.